All right, Shalom. Shalom. Um, with a brother from the Phoenix camp. That being said, we want to give all honor, glory, and praise to Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Hashem, Rakakadash. Double honors to the elders of Great Millstone. And peace and salutation to the brothers out there doing this work in truth and sincerity, man. Pushing on and enduring, man. And we real quick, we want to get into is uh, persecution, man. Because we see, and if you see in the media, in the news, you know, you see constantly that they're bringing up the name of Hebrew Israelites, man. Why? Because they want to make us a target, man. You know, it's on the talk radio. It's on it's on the Spanish channels, news stations. You know, it's pretty much a, you know, they're painting a picture. This system, Esau system, is painting a picture of the Hebrew Israelites as as pretty much terrorists, man. Mm -hmm. For lack of better words, you know, because uh, because we 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 are the, in, in their eyes, we are the definition of terrorists. Why? Because we're anti we're anti government because we're anti wicked. You know what I'm saying? We say death to America. Why? Because America is wicked, man. America is Babylon the Great according to the scriptures. Mm -hmm. And for therefore, you know, as, as that's putting us in, in this light, they're going to persecute us. But you know what? Our our, our big brother, Yahweh Shai, said that that was going to happen to us. Give me that, Matthews. Come, Matthew 5 and 10. Come. Bless are, are, it's like okay, bless are the, Speak up. Bless are they which are prosecuted for the righteous sake. Persecuted. Bless are they which persecuted for righteousness sake, man. So, so the, the men that are doing this work, the, the the followers of 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 Yahweh Shai, man. Hey, we're gonna be per we're gonna be persecuted for doing this work, man. But was that persecution gonna come a blessing? You know, according uh according to Psalm ninety one, man. We're gonna be we're gonna have that heavenly protection on us, man, from the angels, man. And whatever happens to us, we're still gonna be protected. Hey, the, the Esau can come and take us and put us in concentration camps. He can go take us to be beheaded. But through all that, we will still have that, that blessing upon us. Why? Because we're doing this work and we're, and we're going to get that crown of righteousness and the reward for enduring to the end. Most high, wouldn't we be those men? Keep on going. If I could add to what you said, okay, too, bro. bro, you know, because the, the scripture said right there, when they're persecuted for righteous sake, man, we're being, you know, all this, all this, um, Attention being put on these, on these, uh, on the Hebrew, Hebrew Israelites, man, is because we're doing something right, man. We're doing something. You know, that's contrary to what Esau wants to be done in the planet Earth, man. We're going against his agenda, you know. Like I said before, man, we're, we're the biggest threat to Esau's um, um, new world new world order, man. We, everything that he wants to push, we're <coughs> against it, man. We're being the revealers and the prophets. We're the seers that are letting the people know and the, the whole world know, man. First and foremost, the you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. Mm -hmm. We're letting you know who your enemy is, man. You know, and that's what Esau doesn't want. Um, to be known, man. You know, he rules better by secrecy. When no one knows what he's doing, that's when he when he flourishes, man. You know, so but now Yahweh Bashim has put a, has put the spirit on his men to go out there in the highways and byways and proclaim uh, the wickedness that this society is doing that you so-called white people, you Edomites are doing, man. So that's why we're, we're going to be persecuted, man, for righteousness sake. Because you know, what we're doing in the planet Earth, man, is, is, is setting up that standard, you know, which Yahweh, Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai is doing through the spirit, through his men. That everything that you fucking Edomites are doing is wicked, man. And you guys are not gonna like that, man. You know, cause we're 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 contrary to what you, what the brother said. We know we're contrary to everything you do. You know, we're the we're the um, you know, we scale the balance. You know, we set the balance. At, at, you know, cause the Most High is not a power of, of of false balances. So we're setting the balance. You know, cause you guys are pushing it in a weak in a wicked state, man. We're 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 even it out with righteousness. You know, and that's what these devils can stand for, man. You know. Con, we're revealing the the wickedness of your so-called white people, man. What and through what the scriptures? Yep. You know the scriptures are condemning you, man. And we're not speaking nothing of our own accord. Now we're not speaking our own opinions or our own viewpoints of things. We're speaking what the scriptures say. And the scriptures say that your so-called white people are the devil. That you're wicked, man. And that's getting revealed every time brothers do videos and we go out on the highways and hedges. The prophecy itself is revealing that you are the wicked, man. Going back to what Job nine twenty four. But keep on going with that, uh, Matthew. Start, start up from the top. Yeah. Thus are they which are persecuted for the righteous sake, for theirs, it, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. So those men that that are persecuted for righteous sake, those men that endure unto the end, endure unto the so like uh, endure unto the end, they're gonna receive a reward from you. How about Shimia Bashai, man? You know, uh, uh, we're, we're, those are those men that are, are that sighing and crying. Those are the men that, are, that have that spiritual mark on them, man. That's yeah. gonna be protected when the hell and destruction comes, man. Keep on going. Blessed are ye when men shall prevail, revile, revile you, and persecute you, and you shall, 
and shall say all manners of evil against you. And that's what's going on. That's that's going on with, right now. It's going to continue to get worse, man. You know, with violence and, and, and speaking evil things of, of the men of the Lord, man. The men are out there doing this work. You know, like like, like we said earlier, man. We're getting painted as, as threats to the government. Threats, threats to Esau's system. Well, because we are. We are threats to Esau's system. Why? Because we reveal his wickedness through the scriptures. Keep on going, Damo. Blessed are ye, that you, and then shall we revile, I said? Revile? Revile, revile, revile you, and persecute you, and shall say, and shall say all manners of evils against you falsely mm -hmm. for my name, for my sake. For, for his name's sake, man, because all these allegations that they're going to put on, on, on the, on the, on the doing this work, you know, particularly the men of GMS, is for the name's sake of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, because we come out in the name of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, and we do this work in the name of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. You got something, brother? Hey, if I could add too, you know, because mm -hmm. we have niggas in the in in GMS sellouts, mm -hmm. man, that are putting that that are pushing that um, wicked image on the Israelites, man. Yeah. You got dudes um, flexing these guns, you know, Esau's blessing, man, because Esau's blessing is these guns, man. Mm -hmm. You know, you you being a Hebrew Israelite have nothing to do with you. Hey, man, if you have guns, do that shit on your own time, man. You know, but yeah, if come you're on. coming on that on that spirit of a Hebrew Israelite, if you're putting, if you're pushing that, that's wicked, man. You know, you shouldn't be out there in the range, you know, with your garments on and shit. Flexing those guns, man, because hey, man, but we know that you're, you you sold out, man. That that's yeah, the spirit come. of a sellout, man. You know that you're you, pretty much agents, man. You know that come into this to 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 give Esau all the ammo that he needs to move on. You fucking Israelites, man. You know you fake Israelites, man. Come on, and you two thirds, you're gonna take that. You're gonna take that paycheck, man. You're gonna take that payout. You know to to put on a put on a garment and and shoot a weapon, man. You know you're gonna take that payout from Esau. You've been selling yourself to this fucking devil for for hundreds of years, man. You know, you two thirds, man. You you love this so called white man. You know that's why the that's why the scriptures say that that death and destruction is going to come to two thirds of our people, two thirds of you so called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. You know, we're, the men of the Lord are going to get persecuted, but you're just going to get fucking put to death, man. You know, hey, that's the scriptures. You know, you got something, bro? Yeah, I got this from this article, bro. This is from the article in the Inquirer, man. I'm gonna just read a few a few um. Um, paragraphs this is um, ornately dressed men representing the Israelite school have been known to park on the sidewalk and set up a platform with grainy sounding microphones. They're typically found these days outside Temple University Center City campus near 15th Street and JFK Boulevard and spew hateful language at anyone who walks by. Among their favorite terms, white devils, whores, faggots, and the N word which members routinely shout at black passerbys. You know, so, hey, bro, hey, that's that's what they're trying to do. You know, they're trying to label us on, on the black Hebrew Israelites. You know, Apostle's been talking about that for a long time, man, that they're going to use that to demon, um, dem, um, demonize the, the whole movement, man. You know, because mm -hmm. it's not even a movement, man. This is our, our heritage and our nation, Come man. On. You know, we, we, we are the Hebrew Israelites, man, of the Bible. Of the, we're the chosen people of Yahweh Bashem El Shai, man. You know? You got it, bro. Come on. Uh, this is the book of Colossians 4 and 6. It says, uh, let your speech be always with grace. Seasoned with salt, that you may know how you ought to answer every man, and and uh, that's the thing, because you know some of the uh, some of the elders, some of the the um, apostles have been speaking about when you're out there on the highways and hedges. All right, you know, make sure you're speaking with with salt. You know, you know, s your your words being seasoned, like that you may know how to answer every man. You know that you know how to um, present this truth out. To the public in a in a in an honorable way, so that it doesn't be you know um, <laughs> deemed upon as 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 something that it's not. Because we don't just go out there and just you know scream at everybody and just pick fights. It's more than that. You know, we're really here to prophesy. All right, the coming of Yahushai, whom the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, and to really to bring back. Okay, the 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 those who are who are able to receive the message that the blacks, Latinos. The Native Americans are the are the true Hebrew Israelites. You know, we're not we're not out there. We're not out there to just be some revolutionist group. So we know we have to make sure that our, our, our speech is always seasoned with salt and with grace. You know what I mean? And there's many more scriptures, all right. But that th you know how to answer every man because you need you need to know how to speak to every single person. Not, not everybody's the same, okay. all right. Not not that we're here to uh you know like you know cater to everybody's. Feelings or whatnot, because the truth is, it's not about that. It's about speaking the the the, the raw facts. Mm. 
I got a preacher for you. Go ahead. Back here. Oh. This is Ephesians 5 and 15. See then that ye walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise, redeeming the time because the days are evil. And that's what the brother's speaking about, man. You know, you can't just be out there cursing this, cursing that, you know, putting yourself as a target, man. You know, because at the, at the end of the days, man, we're out there to edify, to bring that true knowledge of Yahweh Bashi Moshai, man. That, <laughs> that knowledge that's been hidden for thousands of years, man. You know, our, our, our primary goal isn't out there to be cursing Esau and whatnot. We're out there to wake up the elect, man. You know, cursing these nations and use Edomites as part of it, man. But it's not the main thing, man. You know, we're not out there to, you know, to be known as, oh, you know, these, these guys just do that. You, they just out there talking shit and whatnot. Nah, man, we're out there to edify, you know. Um, Paul said it best, man. You know, with everything do, um, seek edification sake, man. So we're out there to edify, man, primarily, you know. Come, come, man. And the scriptures call this a, a, the ministry of reconciliation, man. That means that 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 this ministry it returns the, the favor upon our, upon our on our people. More, you know, more more specifically speaking, the elect, man. So we're out there to teach. You know, we're out there to teach the scriptures, man. And we get we get taught the proper breakdown of the scriptures from our elders and apostles, and we go out there and we teach other men because that's the way the most high set it up, man. You know, we're out there to edify. We're out there to uh. To wake up the elect, man. Why? Because the scripture says that once the elect wake up, that we're going to be out of here, man. What does the scripture say? That this gospel shall be preached to the end of the world, and then the end shall come, man. And the end of what? The end of Esau's fucking reign upon this earth, man. The end, the end of, of the so-called white man's w wicked rulership upon this earth, man. His end's going to come. And, and the beginning of righteousness is going to take place. That, that, you know, that's when Yahweh Shai is going to rule with the elect, man. You know, and, and that's what we're hoping for, and that's what we're waiting for, and that's why we do this work, man. You know, most I wouldn't, we, you know, we're looking for that mercy, you know, we're looking to wash the blood off our hands for doing this work, man. You know, so we ain't out there, you know, just, just, uh, uh, yelling all kinds of shit. You know, we're, we're out there teaching the scriptures. You know, we have the proper breakdown of the scriptures, and we, we eat the whole roll. And, and, and we don't, and we don't, uh, shy away from the, the weightier matters, man. You know, we, we teach all of it, man, from Genesis to Revelation. You know, the, our apostles and others taught us well. You know, and brothers study and, and brothers uh, uh, do research, bring out articles and whatnot to do this to do this work correctly, man. Like the brother said, season with salt, man. Go ahead, bro. You got something? This is the book of First Peter 3 and 16. It says, having a good conscience that whereas they speak evil of you as of evildoers, they may be ashamed that falsely accuse your good conversation in Hamashiach. And that's the thing, brothers. You know, we have to conduct ourselves, you know, in the best upright manner so that when they um, they speak evil of us as evildoers, that they may be ashamed by this word that we bring out. Precept uh -huh. upon precept, all right, who 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 they falsely accuse us of what? Our, our, our you know, uh, our good conversation, the good, the good, uh, the good teachings, the good, the good knowledge and wisdom we bring out. You know, they, they, they're, they're supposed to be ashamed. The scriptures say that you make... Uh, convince the gainsayers man so you, you you know at the same time you're putting them down but at the same time you're bringing them you you you, you putting them down but at the same time you, you know you're convincing them man Come that's on. how you're supposed to do this man and and, and and so they have nothing evil to say about you and then when they leave all right the camp all right like say if somebody goes up to the camp when they leave they'd be like you know what totally convinced in their mind like hey and they'd be ashamed because they know you edomites know they know that what they've done they can't they can't do nothing about it man it's it, it, it's it's hundreds of years of, of mistreatment man and you just want to sweep it under the rug it just it doesn't it doesn't work like that and that's why they're doing all these things uh you know mentioning the israelites on cnn because the truth is coming now it's reaching like all the uh the whole earth like like prophecy says uh -uh, man. i got a precept Go ahead, what the brother speaking about this is um philippians 2 and 15 that you may be blameless and harmless the sons of the most high without rebuke in the midst of a crooked and perverse nation <laughs> among whom ye shine as a light in the world. Uh, break it down. Bro. Hey, like the brother said, I missed a, a wicked and perverse nation. And that's exactly what this generation is, man. That's exactly what this country is. Wicked and perverse. You know, you got that transgenderism. And that, you got what? Gay marriage being legal. All that's wickedness. All that's perverseness, man. You got you got uh, uh, these elites, man, with their uh, pizza gate scandals and so on and so forth, man. You got these uh, these these faggots in the military, man. Hey, hey, that that just shows you the decay of of of, of this of this country, man. Of, of the you know, the wickedness, the exceedingly exceeding wickedness of Babylon the Great, man. And that's why the that's why the Lord's going to destroy this place, man. For its exceeding wickedness, man. A midst of a, a of a wicked and perverse generation. Read that back again, brother. Let me get it real quick. This is Philippians two and fifteen. Come. 
that ye may be blameless and harmless, the sons of the Most High. Come on, and how are we gonna be? How are we gonna be blameless and harmless? Well, how, because uh, the Lord, the Lord's, the Lord's gonna uh, uh, keep us elect men from from the from the from the fiery trial, man. We're, you know, we're, we're gonna catch hell, and, and some of us might lose our life, but but from that that judgment that's gonna be on you two thirds, and you and you and you and you wicked Edomites. That's not gonna be upon us, man, because we're suffering for righteousness' sake, man. You know, our 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 hell is gonna is is righteous, man. Our persecution is righteous, man. You know, the persecution is gonna come on on you on you on you men doing the work. Most high, wouldn't we be those elect men? It's all in righteousness. It's all according to the will of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, man, because this is his movie. And just like Job was persecuted, just like Job was put to hell, and he got the reward. The men that the men are doing this work, and the men that are gonna get persecuted. They, they're going to get their reward too. So we're, we're doing this to get a reward, man. To prove ourselves. To prove our faith. Because that's what it is. Ultimately, this is going to be a test of faith, man. You know, this is going to be a test of faith for the men doing this work. Because that's what the Lord does to his men. He puts them to trial. He puts them to test. Like, what does that scripture say? Like, gold is tried in the fire. So are susceptible men in the furnace of adversity, man. But this persecution is just a furnace of adversity, man. For those elect men. Keep on going, bro. Hey, and that too, bro, you know, because the scripture says that you may be blameless and harmless. Come. And part of that is walking circumspectly, man. Come, Don't bro. give Esau no reason to, to demonize us, man. Like, give him no reason to, to say, oh, look at look at what they're doing. You know, nah, man. Everything we got to do, man, has to be through the Spirit. You know, we have to walk in the Spirit at even at, in this time, you know, more than any other time in our lives, man. We have to seriously be circumspect and walking in the spirit, man, because hey, man, you got Esau demonizers, man. You got Esau trying to roll up on the on the on the Hebrew Israelites, man. You know, and that's what these other groups don't understand, man. When that persecution comes, you know, we're all in the same group, man. Even though we have the truth, man. Hey, they're gonna put us all, round us up all together, man. Because th this 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 word that we're speaking, man, it it, it it it's hitting Esau in in the core, man. It's it's fucking with them, man. You know, you got all these Edomites, man, making videos and whatnot about the Israelites now, man. You know, because it's fucking with them deep in their soul, man. Yep. They know that, some, hey, that could be right. What they're speaking about us, hey, man, what what if it's right? And Esau can't, can't roll with that, man. They don't want none of that shit. So what are they doing, man? They're using these other groups that are not in the spirit, man, to, to demonize the whole the whole Israel, Israelites, you know? Come on, man. This truth is keeping Esau awake at night. So much so that it bothers him, man. So much so that he has to, he has, he has to, he has to uh, do some type of, of video or he has to demonize us in some way, man, to to... to to make himself comfortable, and that's why you got these vocab Malones, man. You know what is what is his duty to tell to tell these fucking Edomites? Oh, oh, it's okay, man. They 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 really ain't about. No, none of that is true. To make them feel better about themselves, man. But but they because because that's why they know that hey, the scripture said that this this word cuts you asunder to the deep marrow, the deepest marrow of your bone, man. Roughly paraphrasing, par uh, so like roughly paraphrasing. But hey, man, this word is getting to you, so-called devils, man. You you white people. You Edomites, man. You are bothered by this world. You are bothered by the men going on the highways and hedges. You are bothered <laughs> by the unification of the Northern and Kingdom tribe. I mean, I'm Northern. I mean, the Northern and Southern Kingdom, man. You know, which consists of you so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native American men. Uh, this is this is a phenomenon, man. Never, never have, has anybody ever seen blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans standing <laughs> diligently, diligently for the world in these modern times, man. No one, they no, no one's ever seen that, and it's scaring the hell out of you, out of you elites and you so-called uh, white people, man. That's it, bro. I got one. This is a the Ezekiel thirty-three and thirty-three. It says, "And when this coming to pass, lo, it will come." And, and, and what is that? What's coming, man? That's Yahweh Bashim Yahshai. These prophecies are, are are also coming to pass. You know, right before our eyes. You know, you got sightings in Indonesia of of of, of chariot-like things. You got the the blood red moon. You know, you got um, you know, down in what was that, Washington D.C. Yeah. Where you know you got this the, these 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 school these these Edomite school children man they were they was you know getting a taste of, of of you know some form of the truth by these you know these Jakes man but you know this, you know basically this truth is coming out man and lo it will come it says Ezekiel thirty three and thirty three and when this cometh to pass lo it will come then shall they know that a prophet has been among them so so. And that day, you know, it's going to be made manifest, man, that the prophet has been among them, that the prophets, the Lord is setting up his prophets in these last days to, to, to teach this word to the four corners. And then the end shall come, like it tells you in the book of, uh, in the book of Matthew. And that's what's happening, man. That's, that's, you know, and, and, and whether, whether, whether the people believe it or not, man, whether two thirds of our people 
believe it or whether the heathen and, 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 and mainly the, the, the Esau, the so-called white man, whether whether anybody believes it or not, man, it, it will come to pass and it's coming to pass, man. Just the scriptures are being played out, man. God. Hey, that elder Yashu Wamba always said, man, that it's going to be the biggest I told you so in the planet Earth, man, in history, you know, because, hey, man, no one believes this shit, man. No one believes that we are the children of the Most High, man, that mm -hmm. we are those those predestined to be to be rulers of the planet Earth, that this whole Earth is ours, man. Well, like it says in Wisdom of Solomon 5 and, and, and 1 and on, man, that that those that the bold men stood in great that the righteous stood in great boldness against God. those who afflicted them, man, mm -hmm. and those that afflicted them um, stood stood far off, um, and they were tripping on the you know blackly paraphrasing, and they're pretty much tripping out that hey those those are the men, no way, how could they be those that we had in derision, mm -hmm. those that we accounted as nothing, <laughs> are they counted as the sons of the living power? Hey, you best you best get them right, man. We are the children of the Most High, man. We are those, those. We are the Hebrew Israelites, man. We're the Israelites, the nation of Yasharala, man, the prince of the power, you know. So I, I want to get this, finish reading this, bro. That ye may be blamed. This is Philippians two and fifteen. That ye may be blameless and harlems, the sons of the Most High, without rebuke, in the midst of a crooked and perverse nation, among whom ye shine as a light in the world. Hey, man, and that's what are the apostles been, man. You know, that's, you have the biggest example in the whole planet Earth of how to act properly, man. Mm -hmm. How to shine as that, as that, as that, as that light in the, in the, in the, in the bunch of darkness, man. Those men been doing it for 30, you know, starting off with Apostle Tahar, been doing it for 30 plus years, man. Mm -hmm. You know, not taking no breaks, you know, not taking no, no, no fucking, um, no, um, um, no, no suitcase, you know, like these other sellouts, man. He, he been at it, man. He been diligent. Huh. And he been doing it, man. And look at the fruits of it, man. Now you have this. This whole movement, man. This whole um, gathering of the of the of the elect, man. Because that's what you know. All of us try to represent, man. The elect, man. You know. Okay, so um, among whom ye shine as lights in the world, man. And that's the light, man. They can. This light can be dim, brothers. You know, it, it, it's shining so bright that these fucking Edomites have to take note of it, man. You know, there's been countless videos where these um these pastors, their congregation. Gets at them, hey, well, what the hell is going on with these with these dudes? And you know these these blacks and mm -hmm. Hispanics, they're 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 out there in the streets and the highways, um, telling us that we're the devils. Hey, man, because you are the fucking <laughs> devil. Man. What what can your pastor say? Oh no, they're crazy. You know they're crazy. Hey, what the scripture this brother just read, man? Hey, and they, and and at that time they should know that there was a prophet among them, mm -hmm. man. You know. Come because they because they 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 watch these videos, man, and they see that the word is big, breaking down, getting broken down properly. They see that there's, there's that knowledge, wisdom, understanding that's resting with these men, and and they can't believe it because they never heard the word broken down like this before, and it scares them because their pastor ain't breaking down the scriptures like that. You know, their 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 so-called priest or preacher ain't breaking down the scriptures like that, and and they know that it's the truth, but they don't want to believe it, man. They they know that this word, you know, is being preached correctly by these men, and right. it scares the hell out of them, man. Because we're bringing out scripture that they never heard before, man. And we bring out the book of Obadiah, you know. We we bring out uh we bring up the book of Job, man. When it talks about you so-called white people being cavemen, you know. We bring all we bring we show we show this world the wickedness and the true nature of you so-called white people, man. You Edomites. You know, we and, and we do it through the scriptures, man. We and, and these people, they're scared of it. Yeah. That's why they're gonna bring persecution on the men of the Lord, man. Hey, Be, bro, go ahead, so, brother. Hey, part of that too, bro, because we come in the spirit of Yahweh Shai, man. That's right, Yahweh man. Hashem, Yahweh Shai, man. And what the scriptures say, man. You know, I got it right here. This is John fifteen and eight. John fifteen and eighteen. If the world hates you, ye know that it hated me before it hated you. Mm -hmm. If ye were of the world, the world would love you his own. But because ye are not of the world. But I have chosen you out of the world, therefore the world hateth you. Mm. Remember the word that I said unto you, the servant is not greater than his Lord. If they have persecuted me, they will also persecute you. <sighs> if they keep if, if they have kept my saying, they will keep yours also. You know, so the poor well, I'll keep reading twenty one. Yeah, but all these things will they do unto you for my name's sake, mm -hmm. because they know not him that sent me. You know? If not if if I had not come and spoken unto them, they had they had not had sin, but now they have no cloak for their sin. He that hated me hated my father also. Mm -hmm. You know, so the point being, man, you guys don't really hate us, man. You guys hate us indirectly because you guys hate first and foremost Yahweh Shai, man. Mm -hmm. You know, because that's the spirit that we come in. We come in the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Shai, man. You know, hey, man, Yahweh Bashim Shai is pouring out through our skins, man, through our words. Every Come. word that we utter, it's of the Lord, man. 
you know, because we try to be in the spirit as as most as much as possible, man. Well, especially when we out there in the highways and byways, man. We don't speak our own words, man. It's the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Al Shai speaking through us. If you can receive it, man, you know, because those words, man, they aid, hey, man. Hey, hey, brothers always get on the scriptures, man. The priest is always popping off left and right, mm -hmm. and that's Yahweh Shai, man. He's he's right there in the midst of us. You know, the scriptures talk about it, man. When one or two are are gathered in my name, I am in the midst of them, man. So, hey, man, you got you best believe Yahweh Shai is 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 up is up in there, you know, push, pushing that, you know, working with your mind to <laughs> let you know what to speak of, man. And that's what they hate, man. They hate that, you know, because they hate Yahweh Shai first and foremost, man. And I'm talking about you fucking two thirds and you fucking heathen nations, man. Yep. Specifically, you fucking Edomites, man. You know the 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 the, the um you who who proclaims yourself to be the son of the Most High, man. You know when you're not, man. Hey, hey. You got it, bro. Okay. This is the book of Matthew uh, 10 and 22. It says, And ye shall be hated of all men for my name's sake. Mm -hmm. But he that endureth to the end shall be saved. All right? You know, so. And, and you will be hated of all men. You know, you will be hated by your family. You will be hated by your co-workers. You will be hated by ex-friends. You know, you, you, will, you, will, you, will, you will be hated, man. All right? But that's just part of this truth, man. You know, but you have to endure unto the end. That's what the scriptures say. It says, but when they persecute you in this city, flee ye into another. Because we know this devil's coming down with great wrath, man. Mm -hmm. We know that these Edomites are doing all these things on CNN, you know, uh, bringing out the Israelites uh, uh, on the media. You know, we know that they've been watching the videos. They know who we are, first and foremost, uh, going back to Psalms, the 83rd chapter, all right, that crafty council, you know. So we know that they're coming. This is, but when they persecute you in this city, flee ye into another. So, you know, the scriptures say that we have to be like um, pilgrims on the earth, man. So you, you're going to have to have this knowledge and know that in the times that this damn devil, you know, wants to kick down doors, man, uh, you, you might have to flee, you know, because they, they, they will come after us. It says, flee ye into another, for verily I say unto you, ye shall not have gone over the cities of Israel till the Son of Man be come. So, you know, when this thing happens, it's going to be rolling so quick, man. You're not, you're not going to roll all over the United States, so to speak, you know. Visit all the camps where all the Israelites are, and you, you know, and and, and 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 you know, you know, what is it like a, a civil war? You know, with brothers gonna, mm -hmm. hey man, the Lord's gonna come by quick, man. Come That's on. why the days are so damn short. The Lord's making a a a, 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 a speeding this thing up, man. All right, so yeah, we know that persecution is coming, man. But you know what? The Lord is gonna be with 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 all His servants, man. You know, and, and we hope and we pray, you know, always. First and foremost, to Yahweh Bashim Yashai, that we be we be accounted worthy, man, to escape. That's why we do these works, man. Okay. That's it, bro. Can I that, son? Uh, that's it. Bro. Oh, <laughs> yeah, man. That being said, man, nobody less was edifying. You no, know, just a quick lesson about the persecution that's coming, and we have to prepare our our, our minds for these for these things, man. We have to meditate upon these things. But uh, you know, along with meditating and preparing ourselves, we also have to fear not, man, because the scripture says to fear not, man. So we have to have complete trust and faith in Yahweh Bashim El Shaddai he's going to carry us through this, these, these enduring times that are, coming, that are coming up ahead man because the times are going to get worse you know the times are just going to get worse and that's why you have to ready like the brother says stay in the spirit as much as possible man and continue to do this work continue to push you know and continue to to, to be that, that, that man of the Lord man to put on the elect you know because uh, that's what we're called to do man and most high willing you know, we're working for that penny man with that being said, hope it edify one say Baraka to Yahweh. Rock the Yahweh. Rock Yahweh Shai. Rock the Yahweh Shai. Rock the Yahweh. Rock the Yahweh. Rock Yahweh Shai. Rock the Yahweh. Rock Yahweh Shai. Rock Yahweh Shai. Rock Yahweh Shai. Hey, Shalom. Shalom. Death to America. Death to America.